Jen here from Ain and Such and Such and Be Scented. I'm doing my last test soap for today, which is number 10. It has 5% vanillin, so I am not going to... Hold on. So I am not going to color it because it has 5% vanillin. I'll make a confetti soap. Like I did the last batch. So in with our lye. We'll just have to definitely keep them separated because they're going to look very similar. In with the coconut milk. And in with our fragrance. I want to make sure it doesn't accelerate before I um, add in my shreds. It seems okay. Okay. I have a bag of shreds here I've been working on for a while. So we're just going to add them all in here. Some are tiny, some are big. Now when you have a fragrance that has 5% vanillin and stuff like that, it's not going to do any good to add a vanilla color stabilizer. So, might as well just go with the flow and work with it. Put those in the sink to be washed because we're on my last batch. Woohoo! Ten two pound batches in one day is a lot. I mean, it's only 20 pounds of soap. I've made more soap, a lot more in one day, but when you are working with uh, 10 different batches, that's a lot. I'm going to pause, let this set up a little bit, and be right back. All right, it's still pretty fluid. I think it'll be okay. I'm gonna have a soap called Frankenberry <laughs> because I'm gonna finish filling up the mold back there with what's left over in this. So we'll have a Frankenberry because it's this is uh, strawberries and cream, and that is berries and cream. I think I'm going to do like pink glitter on the top of this one. It may help me distinguish between the two. This one has pink glitter and the other one has normal glitter. So we've got this soap over here out of the way. And this is our berries and cream. Perfect. I'm going to do one side with normal glitter, one side with pink glitter. 
All right, guys, I'll bring you back when we cut it. We are back to cut our strawberries and cream. Let me smell. Oh, it smells really, really good. Uh, this one is discoloring quite a lot already. Um, yeah, you can definitely see how dark this one's getting. But our confetti pieces should stay easily visible. Ooh, nice. smells really really good even though it's discoloring you can definitely see around the edges and on the top and on the sides you see here how dark that is and around the edges nice and glittery top And with this soap, I'm going to cut the one that I did the overpour in the one pound molds. I ended up calling it Frankenberries and Cream. But it comes to find out that that's actually like a, a, a cereal name. But you know, that's fine. Um, that's not, you know, what this fragrance is. Obviously, it's strawberries and cream. And like this soap is what I'm talking about. The bottom. Hello. The bottom is the um, berries and cream, and the top is strawberries and cream, so I called it Frankenberries and cream. Um, yeah. And then everybody was like, oh, does it smell like the cereal? And I'm like, smells like what? I had no idea what they were talking about. I thought I was being creative. No. <laughs> It smells really, really good to have, you know, like the combination of the two fragrances. I thought it was awesome. And I may, you know, if we carry it, um, I may do that. I just love it. The top is going to, obviously, this part had 4% vanillin, and this one has 5% vanillin. So you can definitely see the change and how much difference in the discoloration between the two already. So, well, right here, that's a good example. 4%, 5%. So I'm going to cut this one in half, Frankenberries. And then here is the uh, strawberries and cream samples that I'll cut. And that's it. Thanks for watching.